Good morning and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today is day 15 of our uh, Creative Journal Prompt Challenge. And today we are going to be working with a uh, altering an old game card. And I have brought along with me some of these. This was from a game. I'm not sure what the game was called, but this was from um, one of the games. And I brought these cards along. I thought these would make good um, journaling cards. So this is what we're going to work with today. And we're going to be working with some Distress Ink, some stickers, some book pages. I have some scrapbooking paper that I got with, from my creative studio and some um, decoupage paper. So I'm just going to clear this all out and we'll get started. Let's add our card into our book. It's already been distressed, so I'm just going to go ahead and add it into my book here. Get my glue. So you can do the same process with your clothing tags. I have a prompt that is alter a clothing tag, and I will be doing that probably later in the month. Uh, but that is also something that you can do with your the same process we're doing here today. So we're going to alter a clothing tag or er, alter a game card. Getting mixed up now. Use game cards, book pages, stickers. decoupage paper to create a journal card. January 14th, 2020. Sorry, it's January 15th. Oh, losing track of my days. Yes, today's the 15th. Okay. <laughs> One day is blending into the next while we're here. Okay, so let me move my distressing stuff over to the side. So what I'm going to be starting with is one of the journaling cards. And what I might do first, and I've done this in another video. I think I'm going to do it on these, this side here. I'm going to do a couple of them. And I'm going to take this decoupage paper. And I'm just going to cut a little strip off of it because it's about 18 by 24. Actually, it's probably wider than that. It's, it's a very large sheet, and I'll bring the whole sheet over. <laughs> it's a very large sheet of decoupage paper. So I don't need that large a size, so I'm just gonna trim it down to a more manageable size. So I'll cut it in half, and then in half again. So let's see what we can come up with here. Okay, so I've just cut it into a smaller manageable piece of paper and I'm just going to set that off to the side. So what I'm going to do for these, this, this paper, is I'm going to, I'm going to probably work with six of them. Let's see if I can use six. You can probably use more than six, but let's start with six. And all I'm going to do is add some glue to the backs of these cards and then I'm going to set my paper on top of the cards once they're all glued up. Okay, and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. Let me just move this one out of the way. And maybe I'll start with one at a time just because it's uh, it dries very quickly. So let's just get some of this on here. We'll just figure this out. I usually use Mod Podge for this type of thing, but I don't have that on hand. I was going to buy some today and I thought, no, I'm going to use what I have. I don't want to have to buy extra and then have to take it home when I have lots of it at home. So I'm just going to spread that out a little bit so it's nice and flat. So I don't get that lined look. And I'm going to get a piece of that plastic and put that piece of that plastic down. <clears throat> then all I'm going to do is take my card and set it on the tissue paper. I'll get my brayer and just give it a quick rub with the brayer, like that. 
Okay, and that's all I'm going to do for the next six. Um, but I am, and see how it's curling because it's wet. Just bend it back as you go. So we're going to keep going with the other five cards. So I've gone ahead and got my plastic wrap, which is the inside cereal bag of my cereal box. And I always keep those for gluing, painting, and distressing. And this is a new one, so it doesn't have all the distressing all over it. And this is the last card, so let's just spread this out with my brush. And I make sure I make sure I get those corners and go right to the edges. And just brush it out a little bit there and there. Okay, I'm just gonna move this guy out of the way and bring my paper over. And this is the last one, so we'll put this guy on. Roll it out. Now I'm just going to let those dry a little. So there is one option there of decoupaging with the paper. And once it's dry, I'll cut these out and this is what will be on one side of the card. And I will usually fill the whole sheet with cards and I'll do that off camera, but we'll fill this all up and we'll let these dry. The other option is to take a card and just decoupage with different things and these are just little pieces of paper that I have so what I'm using here I've got a book page that I just ripped a piece of book page from so we have book page here and I'm going to distress that I'm just going to move my glue out of the way here um, there's another book page that is just plain which is this little piece here. This was the tissue that came in my Your Creative Studio box that I got this month. It's a lovely dark brown tissue paper, so I've just ripped a piece off of that. And then these are old um, journal pages that I've cut up um, from an old journal and saved them for using for journaling cards. So those are some of the things that I'm going to use on these particular ones, as well as some stamps and stickers. So I'm just going to grab one more thing before we get started. Okay, I had to go in and wash out my paintbrush uh, when I was gluing. Uh, I don't know how many paintbrushes I've ruined by not going and washing them out. This one I've had for over 10 years. It's my favorite paintbrush. It's a one inch and as you can see it's it's a mess so it's become my glue brush um, but I have to remember to go and wash out the bristles or it will turn hard as a rock and then I have to put it in some boiling water to get the bristles back and I think I can only use about half of the bristles. The rest are all hard but this is my glue brush. So I wanted to finish gluing up those cards onto that paper and then washing out my brush. So let's move forward. Um, for these particular cards, we're just going to do a collage uh, and I'm choosing the side that doesn't have as much on it. This side, I'm just going to be gluing one of these journaling cards right onto the paper onto the back of it and then that will become a journaling card. So why don't we glue the journaling card on first. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue here. And the cards are very matte. They're not really, really shiny like some of the game cards. They have almost like a waxy finish to them. And if you're worried about the glue not sticking to um, the game card, if they have a little bit of gloss, I just take a very fine sandpaper um, and I will go ahead and um, give them a quick sanding. Just a, just a brush. You just want to take off some of that gloss. You don't have to spend, you know, five hours scrubbing those off but um, for some of the game cards I will do that if they have a little bit of a shine to them but this one doesn't it's pretty matte it's not really really glossy and it feels like it's cardboard so so the back is going to be the journaling card so let's just get that part done and then we'll work on the front and I'm just trimming it right up to there so there's our back and we will distress the edges um, but the front, I'm just going to go ahead and start playing. I think I'm going to use this book page and I'm going to distress it only because it's got a bit of a, 
a gray color to it. So let's pull out our distressing here and make sure we dip it in the right color. And I'm just using my vintage photo to just quickly distress the edges. And with this thinner paper, it's nice to use the blending brush and just kind of swirl it along the edges. Um, I do have a dauber and I use that a lot. Um, and for thinner papers, if it's just a square piece, and I'll show you with my card, I just take a piece of the back of one of my scrapbooking paper pads. It's, fair, it's not thick. But I use this, if I'm using a thin piece of paper, say this piece of paper, and you want to use your dauber on the edges, because it's so flimsy, I just set it on the edges of my, and I'll use this as an example only because I have to distress it anyway, but I'll just set it on the edges of my cardboard, and then I can run it along the edges of my paper like this without bending that paper because it's so flimsy and then you can use your dauber if you want that look you want with a dauber. So I'm just using, this is just if it's paper, if it's really flimsy. That's what you want to use. A little piece of paper pad and I just threw it away before I left uh, and this is a brand new one that I'm using but the edges will get all nice and brown <laughs> so you'll have this really, or black, whatever color you're using, but you'll have this really distressed looking piece of board. That's what I'll use for the thinner papers. Um, but for this, if I want a softer edge, I'm using my blending brush. And we're just going to go ahead and glue this piece of paper on. And I want to get right to the edges because it's got lots of little points and funny shapes. You want to make sure you get to your edges. And I'm going to glue that right on to the bottom here. And I'm going to leave some of the edges of this card showing because it actually looks like an old piece of parchment on top. I'm going to leave some of those edges showing. And then I'm going to distress this white um, creamy colored book page just a little bit. Just some of the edges here. to give it a more vintagey feel, I guess. Okay, and then I'm just going to throw him on there. I don't like the color of that edge there. There. That's better. So we'll glue that one on. And again, you can use anything you like to decoupage or collage. I'm just using what I have on hand. So I'm just going to slide that guy there. And then I'm just going to glue this little piece of tissue paper on. And it's very thin, so I'm hoping it won't. <laughs> I've never used this tissue paper before. So I don't know how it's going to glue down. Let's see. I'll just stick that on it's right about there. Oh, that didn't turn out too badly. And then I have these stamps that I'm gonna, going to use. And this one is, I think it's from China, but it has, or maybe Japan, but it has some hieroglyphics there and the number, but it has some lovely colors in it. I really like the colors of it. So we're gonna add that on next. And you can put a little piece of fabric behind the stamp, a little piece of tea stained paper. I normally add tea stained paper behind my stamp images. But this is a fairly small surface, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put that guy on there. And then I think I'm just going to throw this little travel tag on here. And I believe these are from Moya529. I believe that is her name. She is on Instagram. I follow her and she has all kinds of tickets and stuff like that that she sends. And they are just awesome. So that is one little, you can add maybe something in the corner here, a stamp. I might get my stamps out and actually stamp a little circle there. I have this one here. It says first class registered. So let's put that there. Let's 
that's good. Close that up. I'm just going to put this guy over here so it doesn't get in the way. So there is one collage stamp using the paper on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and collage one more and then hopefully our other ones will be dry and we can work with those. So let me just get this paper on here real quick. So we'll add our glue to the back of the card. And add another of the lined pages. And I'll just quickly push it on with my brayer. And we'll trim that paper down. And now we can collage the front. And what do we want here? Let's try some of this. Paper here. And we want to distress the edges, that softer. This is very thin paper, so you want to use your distressing brush more so than your dauber. Okay. So we can have that little piece on there. And I really like this um, tissue paper. So we'll see if we can just rip it into a different shape. Maybe add that in there as well. Oops. But I'm going to add a little bit of the book page behind there. <clears throat> Maybe throw that in there. top and again this is very very thin paper so you want to be very careful with it just want to make sure I get near the edges and there all right Let's see if that'll stick without any problems let's see Oops, it's sticking to my finger already. There we go. I think I'm just gonna give that a little push down with my roller. There we go. Like that. And then let's pick a uh, another postage stamp here. And I might save that little brown piece and add that on as well. I have some really lovely. Well, this one's got a pretty color in it. Look at that. Yeah, I like that color. So let's add this guy. Also have some these are from um, your creative studio that's the monthly box that I get sent um, I'd like some of these little stickers here so I'm just gonna stick one right there this pop of color and I need something across the top here and I thought I had an airmail sticker I have these. No, that's too much. Maybe something like this. Let's 
Let's see what else I have in here. I have that one and we can almost bend it over and fold it around the top but it's pretty much the same color as this brown so I don't know you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab another piece of this white paper I think that's what I'm just gonna add that on there and then maybe stamp something on it I think I'm just going to do that and then I'll stamp something on there as well. So let's put him on there. We just want to cover up some of that picture in the background there. Alright, and then I'm going to grab a stamp. Let's see. Do a little stamp right there. I think there's another one that I want to here. Maybe this London Bridge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to a flatter surface because I've got the pad underneath. It's very soft and it's making it bounce around a bit. So I'm just going to set it over here and take my stamp. Actually, maybe I'll try it this way gives it a flatter surface. That's better. So we have that little stamp on there as well. Yep. Now you can use, there is this stamp that has the lines and you can use that through the, um, I use this scrap here, through the postage stamp. Like that, so it gives those lines there. And there we go. There is another of our stamps. And let's just um, distress the edges of this little guy. And I don't want to bend the card, so I'm going to put it on my distressing board. And just give it a little whoop, distress around the edges really quickly. some of those smudgies. There we go. Sometimes the, the dauber leaves a very harsh line, so I just like to kind of rub them in a bit more. There we go. <clears throat> so we've got that one and that one. And then I'm going to grab our, I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way. to grab our couple that we did on this side up there so I went ahead and I glued a couple more on I didn't want to waste the sheet and I had the glue out and I was using my brush as well so I wanted to go ahead and finish up using that <laughs> trying to put my needle back in my glue there we go so we can cut, now cut these out and we'll see what they look like on the other side so I'm just going to go down the center here between the cards just really quickly just to separate them. And then again I'm just going to separate these really quickly. And then you just want to cut around the outside of the card. And I'll save these little bits because I can use those in one of the other cards. Maybe decoupage a little piece onto one of the other ones. 
Not these little bits, but that other one. So that was on the garbage, that little bit. So there is one card. And as it dried, it did straighten out. It's not quite as bent as I thought they were going to be. There's a slight little bow, but you just have to round your card out like that, and it straightens out. So a little bit of glue when you're using your art glitter glue. You just want to put a little bit on and then spread it out with your with your brush. And again, you just want to make it tacky enough to grab the paper. You don't want to put tons on or it is going to make your paper bubble and tear a bit. And I'm just going to go around the edges and we'll just do a couple of them here to show you what they look like. Sun just came out for a brief second. <laughs> so here's a couple more. And I'm just going to do these six and then um, again I'm going to use that uh, lined paper on the back. That's going to be my writing spot. And you can add more to the lined paper side. You can stamp stuff on them. You can stencil over them like I've done with some of my other ones in my, my binder. And one more. And again, if it's got a little bow, just, just bend it a little bit. And then if you want to, you can put it under a heavy book. But um, I think with the amount of glue that we've used, you won't really need to do that. Here we go. So let's just move all these little bits and pieces out of the way here. stamps. Move those out of the way. So we have those two. And then we have these. And I really love this decoupage paper. It's some um, old advertisements so it really looks nice. And then the, the ca game card is still a little bit behind there. You can still see some of the words but I think it just adds to the, the collage of the book. And then I'm just going to grab some of my book pages, wherever they may be. Here they are. And you're just going to glue that to the back. So you'll have that on one side and that on the other. Now you can add more collaging to this. You don't have to just leave it as the decoupage side. You can add some stamps as well. If you want to add a little bit more to it. Um, I do have this uh, washi tape that I got. I thought this was kind of cool. So let's see if we can rip some of this guy off. We'll rip a little bit off of this end. Of course, it doesn't want to rip. And we can almost add that to that side there. There, it gives it a little more color. It looks like it's old parchment, the, the tape. Maybe a little piece there just to pull them together. There. Yeah, I really like that. It's a nice collage bit that you can add to a... Um... See, now that had a little bit of white on it and I didn't like that white there. Let's see if I can take that off and turn it around. I probably can if I do it very gently. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. And you don't see that little white line there as much. There. So the, there's two journaling cards. And then I have these ones as well that we can just add a piece of lined paper to the back. You can add tabs to the top of these cards if you want to add a tab to the top of the cards. So you're just adding a little tiny stream of that glue. You don't want to put too much on or else it gets really bubbly. That's a technical term. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to slide that guy on there. And use our brayer just to push it down nice and even, and it spreads the glue out underneath. And then you just cut 
around your card. I'm gonna save that. And I noticed there was a little tiny piece here. I'll cut that off there. So there you go. You've got that. Let's maybe add a little piece of this washi tape. Maybe down the side here. So you can add a little bit more if you want to collage some of it. I'm going to use that big long point there. Let's add this little piece to it. So really you just want to have fun. Grab some scraps. Grab things that you don't normally use in your collaging, like that little piece of tissue paper that came in my package the other day. I was going to throw it away and just thought, oh, I like the color of it. And there you go. So you can keep playing with them and adding more things to them. You can add a postage stamp. This one has nice colors in it. You can use your washi tape, little bits of that. You can add some more of this paper, but I don't want to cover up too much of the advertising. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that and just cover up little bits and pieces. Maybe add another little piece of washi tape to the other side here. Just a small piece. Maybe right here. Just to pull those two colors in and make it look like it's not just floating there with one little piece of color. There. So again, just play with them. Um, you can use these in any way. These cards, they're nice and they're not really, really thick, so it gives you a little bit of backing to your, your cards. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep gluing some of these on the backs of these cards, and then I will be cutting out the rest of these as well. So I'll have quite a few more cards to work with. And again, you can stamp on them, maybe get a different color ink rather than the black. You could stamp on them with a blue. You can add a label. You can add a label to these as well. So you could add a lined label. I've got the graphics label, just a plain label or a red label. They're a little big, so you might want to find a smaller label. Oops, stick to my finger. I also have this longer label as well, which I could just stamp right on onto the thing or actually stamp it onto maybe the cream colored paper. So you get a creamier label. Um, there's all kinds of different things that you can do with them. And again, I'm just going to cut them out, glue the backs of these on, maybe add little bits of washi tape and a little tiny, tiny bit of that brown tissue paper to each of them. And let's see how that looks at the end. So we're just going to finish up working on these tags and these journaling cards. So these are the decoupage cards and I've added the washi tape and the little piece of tissue paper. And these are some of the ones that have finished up. And then what I did was I took a piece of cotton fabric and I just glued it to the spine and left a little tiny gap in between the cards and made like a little booklet and just added one of the tabs as well. And these are tabs that I had punched out of the teacup holders. Um, it's just a thinner cardboard and I have quite a few of them here and what I'm going to do is I've added one to the front of this one and then the other option is to add it to the back so those two are done and we just added some tabs I'm going to glue some tabs onto these just let me clean up my glue bottle here and I thought I'd let it the glue dry on the top while I was had some phone issues. I had to fix my storage on my phone. Oh, pull that right out. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these on. 
and I think I'm just going to add them to the fronts of the cards like that. Oops. So there's that one. And there is, I'll put that one on that side. And there's that one. Make sure they're nice and even. You can add them to the sides if you want to insert them inside of a pocket. You can add them off to the side, like maybe here. So that one can go inside a pocket that way. There's that one. side to the top of that one right in the middle and one more and again you can add them to the front so you can add them to the back let's add this one to the back So there's there was a few done and then these two I did go ahead and stamp that stamp that I found onto the cream colored book page and I'm going to add these onto the front of the card right about there there's that one and we can add one of our little tabs this corner here. Let's add this label. Right about there maybe. And let's add this tab. the middle that and then this one I added the paper to the back I also got um, in my your creative studio mail out that I got this month I received this paper there's a couple of them this is actually just paper uh, these two are actually stickers so I thought maybe I could add peel that back on one side and take my card and just add that. Make sure it's laying flat. And add that to my piece of paper. The sticker, like that. And then what I'm gonna do is cut around it. I don't wanna pull that whole thing off because I wanna save the rest of the sticker. So I'm just gonna cut around the paper. Be careful, it's sticky. And then this one. There we go. And just let that fall back on so we didn't waste any of the sticker. And there we go. And there is another one that is done and it's just that collaged sticker paper. So there's a lot of different things that you can use for creating the journaling cards with um, game cards. Um, and again, these can be done, the same thing can be done with a clothing tag, which is probably what I'm going to be doing a little later on. I'm going to revamp some clothing tags as well. But there is creating some journaling cards using game cards. And they're all completed and then these two here so that's it that's the end of the video 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a long one today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.